My conscience first received a tenderness, scruple, and prick, and made to tremble the region of my breast, which forced such way that many mazed considerings did throng and pressed in with this caution. First methought I stood not in the smile of heaven, who commanded nature that my lady's womb, if it conceived a male child by me, should do no more offices of life to it than the grave does to the dead. For her male issue had died where they were made, shortly after this world had aired them. Hence I took a thought. This was a judgment on me. And that <laughs> gave to me many a groaning throw. Thus, Calling in the wild sea of my conscience, I did steer toward this remedy, whereupon we are now present here together. That's to say, I meant to rectify my conscience. I then moved my lord of Canterbury, and got his leave to make this present summons. Unsolicited, I left no reverend person in this court, but by particular consent proceeded under your hands and seals. Therefore, go on! No dislike in the world against the person of the good queen, but the sharp, thorny points of my alleged reasons drives this forward. Prove but our marriage lawful. By my life and kingly dignity, we are content to wear our mortal state to come. primest creature that's a paragon of 